Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for our video. Today, we're gonna modify some reels. And uh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna give you a uh, little bit of history. Right, so, uh, this is an OSHA Jigger 1000. And when I got it, I decided to put on a uh, an aftermarket handle. And after a while, I just said like, hey, you know what? I'm going to put a, an extended handle on it. And uh, it was like that for a while. Bad news is, I didn't get to use it. So that was kind of a bummer. So, right now... Uh, I want to put everything back and then, uh, you know, kind of uh, put the uh, put the uh, original or the first aftermarket handle that I have on here, put it back basically, and then I will. Uh, use the other handle onto something else. See, there we go. That looks good. I mean, that's pretty much stock. Okay. Uh, well, a little bit better than stock. This is uh, this is aftermarket, and uh, as you can see here, it has a nice grip. So when I first bought this uh, 1000 model, it came with uh, not so nice grips and this pretty much took care of it. And uh, this is unused. Unused. Because I've had other models to use, like the 1500 that I use a lot. so. That basically kind of did it for me. So, ended up not using this. And kind of a shame because, as you know, this is a very, very good reel. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. So, I think, okay. This goes like so. That is perfect. We just put the screw on and Bob's your uncle. Okay. Now, years before, I've had about two reels that I really like and uh, kind of uh, basically just got lost in the collection. So that's a brand new 1000 sized OSHA Jigger 2017 model. I changed it to a nicer handle okay from Yumea as you can see there the color is different and this is at a time when they didn't put a t-bar handle on the jigs and this even now has a very nice t-bar handle all right now what we're gonna do today is this okay this is a, a an old accurate and this is an accurate 665 Magnum Boss Magnum Okay, now this is modified To slow jig as you can see it has a nice big handle a long handle Although it actually put a bit of weight onto this since we're fishing it for deep water Okay, we're putting this together for deep water deep water fishing. That is it. It's uh, singular in purpose 
uh, you're dealing with really heavy weights and the weight that it has is actually kind of comparable to a an L100. The thing that I like about this is that the width is just right. So you have good width and this reel actually carries a lot of line. This is pulled with PE 2.5 and oh. um, actually went past 700, uh, oh. 800 meters. And we still have a lot of room as you can see there. All right, let me just show you guys. Okay, as you can see there, there's still a lot of room, but I stopped there, okay? So basically, um, I have two of these. I actually modified this ahead of time so that I would be able to, you know, kind of show you how I've done it, okay? And this is going to be one hell of a slow jigging reel handles long gives you a lot of control also gives you a lot of leverage uh reeling it will feel easier because you have a longer handle uh the biggest problem is that the this part right here that comes with the reel they don't fit the old accurates they fit the new accurates. Okay, like this Fury, managed to put on the handle with no issues at all, feels great. This was my main uh, fast jigging reel and it worked a treat. I'm telling you, this caught some, some nice fish. And with the change of the handle, it totally changed the reel. It is easier to work with. When I ca I caught like a few really big long tail tuna with this, and it was great. So the problem is this: the older models have a different uh, dimension for their uh, their shaft here, so the hole is not. I tried modifying, you know. It won't fit. I tried. But as you can see there, yes, we have succeeded in doing it. How is the question? The big question is how I done it. But you know what? If you're new to the channel, this channel talks about the hows and why it's efficient. We cover everything from big game, ultralight, everything in the middle, including fly fishing. And today, we're going to be modifying this reel so that we can go deep water slow jigging with this exactly what we've done with this one right here okay so you can see uh, the spool is uh, blue this is also blue so if you're in the states or you're from the states and you see this and believe it or not that was stock and this is the color that uh, they sent to Singapore all right so kind of stock for Asian reels this one, however, it has a custom color. So yeah, we're gonna modify this and I'm gonna show you how. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I've been trying to modify this for a really long time. I've tried, I've failed several times, not fun. But we finally have done it, so I'm quite happy. Quite, quite happy. And it, it was just today actually, so. I said like, hey, I'm going to make a video out of this so that you guys could see. Now, the part in question, okay, the part in question is uh, for this handle assembly, it's this, okay? And there was a time when I said I would be doing the mod with one of the uh, with one of the uh, parts that came, and uh, I've tried. I screwed up so many times; it's unbelievable. All right, uh, just just didn't happen, and uh, 
yeah it wasn't cool it wasn't cool at all so as you can see it comes with this part right here a washer but nothing fit okay there's small ones this so there's shimano there's daiwa avid maybe uh but none that really fit it even comes with spacers and all that nothing fit all right so i'm making sure that this is the right one the problem is it seems that the o-ring on this is actually kaput so i'm gonna have to look for an o-ring for this or we take off pick one off from one of these guys right here which when we actually uh, put on this okay just install it because once we put this on this particular reel that is it there's no reason for us to actually take it off I love this reel it's a present from my wife and uh, yeah all right so Here's the thing, I've had these manufactured and I've done a little bit of modification. If you could see here, okay, I'm gonna zoom in, actually just show you guys, like, okay, right there. So as you can see here, um, what's very specific about this particular one is you can see this, this part here is really flat and there's a little bit of an issue here because that is just that part right there is actually kind of small okay so there's a bit of a procedure that I have to go through just so I'd be able to fit this in here okay not for the faint of heart not for the faint of heart okay uh, <laughs> all right so uh, materials you will need if you want to follow along with this do it at your own risk okay again I've done that reel and uh, you know I have another handle it's just that it's silver and red not black and red and I want black and red on this because that looks so good all right so first thing is that we need to pull this up like so okay and then um, okay this is what we've uh, chosen here the very first thing is I'm gonna take a uh, box cutter and I'm gonna take off and there is trust me on this and I'm even on a micro almost microscopic level there's gonna be burrs okay so what we want to do is take all the burrs off and that's exactly what I'm doing here just scraping it okay and then also just doing this because there's there's stuff that are actually protruding that should be it do it in the other side as well okay Alright, that's that. Should be none. And then I take a uh, sandpaper and then just make sure that it's smooth. If you have this reel lying around, and you want to use it for deep water uh, slow jigging this is actually a really good way to go about things there we go so that should be it uh, diamond file you could use a file that is not diamond but the diamond file actually makes the job easier okay First thing you need to do is actually see exactly how far you need to go. Now I've I know that this okay is going to be tight only on the top and the bottom of the flat side and not the oval side. The oval side fits perfectly right there and right there. Okay. 
Now, you will constantly need to actually take the screw, screw it on, and pull it out a lot in this process, all right? So, you just find a, uh, the angle here, okay? And uh, I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see. Uh, I know this will actually look scary to a few people, but, you know, it's uh, something we need to do. All right, so what I want here is to lay that flat, okay, just like that, okay? Uh, flat, and then what we want to do is just take off a little bit here. Now, what I've noticed when I was uh, doing this project was that this area here is actually kind of small, and there is a risk that the part will actually uh, twist because it's still kind of rounded. So what I've done was instead of making this hole fit perfectly here, I, I went ahead and told the guys to make it um, a bit super flat. Okay? That way, that flat part sits there and it's never going to move. So... What we want is just to really get this down. Little by little. And we do the same here. Okay. All right, so almost there, just a little bit from here, just like so, put this there, and what you want is to line things up, okay? Now what happens is that since it is a very tight fit, it has to line up, it forces it forces it onto that and voila that is it all right now i know that see it went in there we have to pull it back up all right we want that uh, okay, so what I've done with the other one is I took off all the uh, all the other uh, screws or the uh, Teflon washers. I want to fit it. Okay, like that. Okay, so it's on the hole. Okay, and what happens is if we do this, it kind of forces everything in and you want that okay it's kind of difficult to uh, line things up now when in doubt obviously you can still kind of uh,
Okay, so let's file this thing a bit more. Something wrong here. Okay, so this this collar is kind of bothering us, so let's take that off for now. Okay, now just a bit more, I guess. Not for the faint of heart. First thing is just barely fits and then I tap it you do this actually what happens is it really fits itself in the hole okay so that's it it actually pushed itself now what we do is return the collars because that was it see it's in there now what we want is to do the same thing but with all the parts in it so take the collar and the collar here Teflon washers. Put that on there. Put this part on. All we have to do is tighten everything, and we should be done actually. So you need to do it a few times for the uh, part to actually fully take everything in. Uh, as with the other one, kind of got loose, loosened up after a few test reels. Okay, so now we have that. We will torque this in. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of space there. And we need to bring that in. See, I see that you need to take all of that in so this actually needs to still really pull everything in all right so uh, we finally have installed it perfectly so as you can see no gaps there there are no there's no play there you go so um, super super tight and it doesn't move there's no there's no wobble there's no give and all that 
and what we've done is to take a ratchet and then just tighten it up as much as we can and until everything is set so that is it the washer is not coming off obviously this is going to be a permanent fixture for this reel I don't intend to basically I don't intend to modify it any longer this is basically the last form this reel is gonna take now, it doesn't matter if I take it for uh, casting which I could still with this obviously and I'll have a bit more leverage of course uh, make makes it a, a, a lot better and uh, for jigging that's it so I have some braid here I'm going to uh, be taking off I'm putting a PE 2.5 or 3 for deep water fishing and the width is just right it's not too wide it's not too it's not too uh, narrow I think that this is uh, this is a good width for uh, for a deep jigging reel so as you could see there okay we have a red one and a silver one and this is going to the Philippines it's gonna have a lot of fun there for sure all right there we go two reels modified and uh, we have spares just in case uh, stainless steel they're not gonna move but hey if uh, if you're gonna do the same for these and uh, you want these washers give me a heads up I'm not gonna be selling them for uh, an arm and a leg just to help you guys out if you want to convert your old reels into uh, slow jigging machines and that's, that's basically what we have here deep water slow jigging machines there we go ain't that nice alrighty so uh, that's done finally uh, quite happy that I've done this finally after a few years of actually uh, you know uh, looking for the right uh, people to help me finally found so uh, yeah there we go if you have questions I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of questions so if you have questions uh, drop them in the comment section I will try my best to answer and if you have one of these reels lying around and you want to modify them get, get in touch with me if you uh, want you know one of these but again pretty much the this is the instruction video and all you need is this that's it and uh, ratchet so I used my ratchet just so everything is uh, in place perfectly so you can see there uh, no wobbles see none no play which is the most important thing see okay same with this no play no wobble okay and it became kind of uh, it's, it became very very easy to use uh, the weight is negligible for uh, deep water fishing and uh, I'm pretty sure that they will be performing well so th yeah that's it for now um, if you like the video if you learned something uh, give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet and you just joined us uh, click on the subscribe button if you want to learn more and if you want to share this with your friends so that they could learn more go ahead and do that uh, growing together with your friends is uh, an awesome thing that way you don't have to baby them and uh, when they ask questions you just point them to uh, this channel so that uh, you know it's uh, easier for them you don't have to translate or you know pass secondhand information Alrighty, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.